Tickets to next year's Glastonbury Festival went on sale this morning and completely sold out in about an hour. Fans wanting to go to the event found themselves refreshing their internet browsers constantly in the hope they might get through to buy tickets. Aid Cartwright has been to every Glastonbury festival since the late 80s and he even got married at the festival. I spoke to him earlier about his experience of getting tickets. Luckily enough, I, um, I volunteer there now, look after a team of litter pickers, so I'll get my ticket anyway. Uh -huh. But I've still been up the library this morning with friends of mine um, trying to get tickets for them. Um, refresh, refresh, refresh. Um, luckily, everybody I wanted to get tickets has got tickets, so that's great. Um, but we got all the tickets after sort of 10 o'clock when they said it had sold out. Okay. So keep going. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Well, that's optimistic because it's a, it's a bit more than that now after it. But it's, is, it, is it stressful, though, going through that? Oh, good, yeah. I, I, not even tickets for me, but it's so stressful. It, it's more, you get more nervous than anything. Um, years before when I used to have to get tickets for myself, that was just as bad, but people, other people relying on you getting a ticket, I think that's worse. So, uh, but yeah, I can't imagine what it's like not to get tickets. It must be horrendous. So, so have you never you not got tickets? Because you said you volunteer now, which means you automatically get in, albeit you have yeah. to work. But have there been years prior to that where you, you I mean, you're saying you always got tickets? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> always got them. <laughs> but the, the online ones, um, that I managed, some years I managed to get sort of like, 15, 16, 17 tickets for sort of like other people as well. Oh, wow. Other years, we managed to just get the last couple of tickets for sort of like myself and my wife. Um, but yeah, always managed to get the tickets. So tell us about getting married at Glastonbury. Oh, <laughs> it was amazing. Well, it did a big flash mob engagement to start with. Um, the BBC came down and filmed it for me, which is nice of them. Um, we appeared on the one show. Afterwards, the year later, we went back and we got married. And yeah, we had a lovely ceremony. Um, and we performed, I sang my lyrics in the, um, the Peace Garden at Glastonbury. Um, I was quite happy with that because the only other person to perform on the Peace stage that weekend was the Dalai Lama. So oh. I was the Dalai Lama's support act. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he knows that. Aid Cartwright talking to me earlier.